Hello and welcome to Bunkum. My name's Anthony and today we're on another episode of The Doll Shop. In the last episode, we found out the main protagonist was a bit of a psycho. It wasn't in fact a doll he'd been keeping in his shop, but a real person. In this episode, we're going to explore some of the alternative endings. However, I don't think we're going to find a very positive ending to this game. But let's take a look. So we've got a few more options available to us now. Uh, we've got a, a load, mem load menu um, available to us. Um, and I think it was saying before in the last episode we could start off at chapter three, where we, where most of the decisions come uh, influence the outcome of the game. So uh, new game quit. So new game. Here we go. So uh, right. So lonely life. Oh, so last day. Last day ending B or C. The last choice. So. If we start off with ending B or C, uh, and see if we can influence that one, I'm not sure. I can't remember how to influence the other stuff in the game, but we'll we'll dive in anyway. So I'll get ready with my Batman voice. I'm sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have insisted. Uh, what happened? Oh, this is where they went to the takeaway shop. He had a bit of a freaky deaky time and stormed out and he had started tripping, essentially, as uh, from what I can gather. Um, but no, it's uh, nothing. Have you made your decision? It's not that easy. I was happy to see you again. Without you, I'd probably already be back in town. But I don't think I'm going to stay. Uh, uh, what did we go for before? I think I went for I knew it. No, I tried at least. I'm going to go for I knew it this time. I'm going to try and go for the opposite ones previously. That were previously chosen. Um, it's not your fault. We had a good time together. It's just that I have this feeling I left something unfinished in town. I understand. It's okay. You're so withdrawn. You need to learn to say what's on your mind. Um, I think if he said about what's actually on his mind, she would have run a mile by now. Forget it. I'm leaving. Wait. Before you leave, I... I'd like to show you something. Right, so I said about the butterfly, I'm going to go for the doll. You really don't understand anything. It's not surprising you live alone in this old house. <laughs> don't have to be so hurtful. It'll only take a moment. I'm going to say you don't have to be so hurtful this time because I think I, in the last one again, I said it will take only a minute. Excuse me. I'd better go. So does she leave now? Don't you want to search for a secret? So we went for that before. You, so I'm going to go for you two always running away. And that, this... Oh, she still comes back. I, was, I didn't know whether she might meander off and we didn't see her again. You can't even imagine what I've had to endure lately. So I'm going to try and be a little bit more spiteful, I think, towards her and see what happens, perhaps. Not that I want to be, by nature. But I'll just see if we can, you know, for academic purposes, see if we can get alternative anything. Well, okay, but quickly, and then I have to go. Follow me. Oh, don't do it. Now we know what happens. Um, we have to go in there, don't we? Can she run away yet? Mm. I have the feeling I've been here before. It's been so... I've been so eager to introduce her, her to you. <coughs> I... I don't like this place. You'll see how beautiful she is. You're going to like her, I'm sure. <laughs> Look who's here. 
Say hello to my friend. Run away! <sighs> oh no, it's the missing girl. Don't be afraid. It's not what you think. It's exactly what she thinks. Don't come closer. Wait. No, wait. Listen to me. Why are you running away? There's nobody waiting for you outside. Aren't you tired of being alone all the time? Imagine, together, we could be a family. <laughs> Freaky deaky dude. I won't tell anyone. Please just let me leave. I got it. Light. Switch off the light. So we let her leave before. I'm going to switch off the light. <gasps> no. Forgive me. I didn't intend to hurt you. But don't worry. I'm going to fix it. No. So this is what these pieces are for. Uh... That emptiness, I cannot leave it alone. I must heal you. Uh, what? I'm a bit confused now. Uh, we can't do with anything with a child. Can I do anything with this? Come here. Uh, oh? I'm a bit confused. Do we do that? Oh, isn't it better this way? I know you love. I know you love this butterfly. Now it's time to close it. Oh, so now we do it. This is. Uh, oh, it's that one. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, because that was the other one of the other options that was available about the butterfly, and completing your collection or something. You're perfect. Is he not going to paint rosy cheeks on her? Oh, I'm so happy you're here. I'm sorry I had to take such drastic steps, but what else could I do? You understand, don't you? So are we going to see the real fa their real faces? Because obviously hers isn't going to be normal like it is now, just like the dolls wasn't. Now the three of us are a family. You know that. No, you know what? I think we're going to be very happy together. No, no, I don't think you are. Right. Uh, I left the room and closed the door behind me. People are going to be suspicious now. They will ask questions. I'll help as much as possible. We'll organize a search party in the forest. And I'll hang a poster up in my shop. But they won't ever find you. He's a freaky man. So we've got C now. So you won your friend's confidence. Yes. Your secret is known by you alone. Yes. You saved your childhood friend. No. You completed the butterfly collection. No. So we need... Com we need to do ending A. So how do we do ending A? Validate these four options. <sighs> so what's ending A? Uh, A. Can we get any idea what that is? I don't know what it is. Does it give us any more hints? Oh, I need to know. What? What's the other... The other ending then? Oh, this is going to bug me now. You can now choose to start the day with launching a new game. Whilst you say to your childhood friend, what you say to your childhood friend will influence the trust she has in you. Will she leave the village and how uh, and as soon as possible? Or will she stay a little bit more at her own risk? So, start at day three is enough to influence her decision. So we've got to do it for day three. Starting on the final day, we'll return you to the final choice. So, yeah, 
number three. So we've got to make her leave sooner rather than later and scare her off. You can also quit the game and leave it for another day. Right, okay. Just load game. Day three. Oh, uh, trust or distrust. Okay. So now we should be able to get the other ending by doing this. So we need to freak her out and tell her to not hang around with us. Is anyone home? Oh, hello. Am I too early? S sorry. It's okay, I've been having trouble sleeping lately. Oh, me too. I've been having strange dreams. Nightmares? Not really. I've been dreaming of a dark room with red walls. And that's it. I just stand there in the dark until I wake up. I'm not sure how to interpret it. Um, right, so I want to try and freak her out. Dreams often have no meaning, which is the one I went before. Sometimes dreams act as a warning messages. You should pay attention to them. So we'll go for that. I suppose we all have a dark side. So, this is your workshop. I think I've been here before, when your father was running it. It's been a long time then. Look. I began by gluing the face back together. Unfortunately, none of the shards will last. No, fortunately. Uh, now I have to erase the cracks. I need to be... I need to carefully sand the glue. Then I'll paint the face until there are no uh, longer any marks. It's a delicate job. But don't worry, she'll be back on her feet in no time. You speak... Oh, you speak about dolls as if they were alive. Uh, they they are alive in a way. Do you find that strange? I'm going to say they're alive in a way. Because again, that's something we didn't do before. I guess it's normal... I guess it's normal to see things that... Uh, I guess it's normal to see things that way in your job, but... Dolls cannot replace human beings. They know how to listen. They don't judge. People are often cruel. I understand. It's been difficult in town as well. My colleagues, my boss. Sometimes I just can't take it anymore. I want to lock myself in my room and never leave. Um, I'm glad you came back. You have to sacrifice too much to live over there. There must be some positive to make up for it, which I think we didn't do before. It's a new... Uh, it's a unique atmosphere. Everything moves so fast, like a river carrying you along with the current. It's frightening and, at the same time, exciting. But I must be bothering you with my stories. I'll leave you to your work. I'll see you out. <laughs> uh, I need to be cruel to her. To be honest, I'm, I'm not sure I'll, if I'll see the doll when it's finished. I may leave tomorrow. So soon, I hope you'd stay longer. I understand there isn't a future in this village. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I'll have to think about it. You should take a walk to the shrine. It's quiet there. I go there sometimes when I need to focus. That's a good idea. I can't stand staying inside anymore. I'll be leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> right, does she go now? Is she going to come back? Oh. Maybe we can meet somewhere tonight? Uh, a farewell dinner. Don't be so negative. Anything's still possible. Our choices are, are, are what shape our lives, wouldn't you say? You're right. No, I'm sorry. Is Raman okay? They serve a good one near the station. That should be perfect. How about 6pm? I'll be there. So, is this not going to the restaurant or going to repair the doll first? How we influence the end? Work hard. It must be. And don't bring your dolls this year. So, I'll repair the doll, bring it with me, and freak her out. This is between you and me, okay? Of course. See you tonight. <laughs> oh. Our guy is such a charmer. Right. Uh... So we repair the doll. I'll be able to remove the excess dry glue by sanding it carefully. So if I work fast and hard, I can bring it, yeah, bring her the finished doll tonight. 
So this is how I get her to perhaps leave sooner rather than later. So I'll end up being late. I'll bring a doll with me and she'll be like, don't want to hang around with you, dude. You're, you're a freaky deaky dude that brings dolls with you and I've asked you not to and you're late. You haven't bought me any flowers, no chocolates, didn't compliment me about how I dressed, that kind of thing. So I need to be a complete douchebag and not do what she's kindly asked us to do. Right, so that went well. Final hour of white. We have to get the paint now. Oh, I'm short of white. I knew I was forgetting something. So we put our coat on. I have to check. I have to check if they've got some white in stock at the grocery store. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's repair this doll and scare the lady away. Here we go. <laughs> I am really intrigued to see what the other ending's going to be. But I was really surprised by the other ending. The sort of uh, face becoming a like a doll. Call the owner. Right. Problem white. Powder pigment as usual. Yes, please. Let me check. Ta-da! Here you go. Right, last one. Right, let's get cracking. It looks perfect. There's something else for you. Uh, oh yeah, this is the yeah do uh, doll. It's the butterfly. Great. Right, let me leave. Yep, it's late. Working. Yep, yep, yep. 2,000 yen. Sorry. Toodle pip. Pew! Right, let's go back to our... What? It really is evening, but I could have sworn. Oh no, my date. Right, let's forget about the date. <laughs> let's be a douchebag. A complete and utter douchebag. And go back to our shop and fix the doll. Will it let us go in? Won't. Oh, nuts. Let me in. It won't let me in. <laughs> Put the paper. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, I've got a big... How do I get rid of that? Oh, there we go. Right, let me in. Let me in. Why can't I go in? Oh, sugar. Perhaps I can't go in then. So do I scare off the restaurant then? Oh, I'm a bit confuddled now. Am I doing something completely wrong? Right, can I... Oh no, she's not here. Who? The young girl? She's gone. <laughs> she was furious. Oh, it's my fault. What I have to do? Blah, blah, fail. What's my problem? Calm down, I'm only joking. Uh, you're my first customer, as always. Oh, I'm panic over. Don't stare at me like that. I was, it was a joke, I'm sorry. I'll wait for my friend, and then I'll stab you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fudge and fairy cakes, come on. How do I scare her off? Sorry for, sorry for the delay. I was out walking and lost track of time. Are you okay? You seem upset. I was worried I was late. It's nothing. I say it's nothing. Uh, so what do we celebrate tonight? I don't know. Tell me. Your doll almost being ready. Let's freak her out. Oh, no. How about our reunion after all these years? Good idea. Well, you have. Um... You can choose. You're the regular here after all. Excuse me. Two chef specials, please. Can I show you something? Ah, uh, the flutter by. Right. Uh, let's do that and that. Ta-da! Oh, it's a butterfly. Is it dead? No, it's sleeping. I collect butterflies, you see. You have an Avery? No, I pin it to frames because I'm a sadistic man. So their beauty never fades. 
That's when... Uh, then what's the point of ordering them alive? I don't kill them straight away. I put them in a small cage where they can flutter around. A bit like his victims is re in real life. Uh, that way I can get to know them and later can recall the moments we spent together. Perhaps that, that is actually probably a big clue. That's, that's exactly what he does to his victims. This one will be my most beautiful. Whenever I look at it, it'll remind me of you. Oh, it's all coming together now. That's why. It's all symbolic. Anthony, you should have seen it coming. Uh, that's nice. Uh, do you find it strange? I'm glad you like it. Still, I feel kind of sad for the butterfly. You shouldn't. It's just a bug. <laughs> it's strange, but I feel a little bit like him. Trapped in my life, unable to break free. Okay, I get it. I'll put it away. <laughs> All right, here's our ramen. Our noodles love birds. Oh, check us out. It looks delicious, thank you. I don't know how I can influence this. Grandma told me about this summer. Little girl disappeared. Prefer not to... Uh, oh, I don't know what I chose like about that one. Last time. I thought the type of thing only happened in town. Right, yeah, because we get a few... Shouldn't worry, she's probably just run away from home. Right, so let's go for... Doesn't seem to affect me. Uh, I didn't know the victim. No excuse. So I'm trying to be more cold, more calculated. Sorry to be a pain, but it seems like no one wants to speak about it. Try to understand. It's not healthy dealing in the past, the entire village. Not healthy dwelling in the past. You know, we had a similar case in town. Schoolgirl was held prisoner and killed by her classmates. The investigation revealed all the neighbours knew about it. But nobody tried to help her. That's horrible. But here, how could she disappear in such a small village? Someone must have known what happened, don't you think? So he goes out, he goes freaky deaky. What should I do? What should I do? If I tell her, if I explain everything, maybe she'll understand. Yes, she's not like the others. Are you okay? I have to tell you something. No, don't say anything. Too close. Let yourself go. Have you heard the news? One week she's been missing. Uh, one week she's been missing. She wasn't even ten. If you ask me, the one who did it is a monster. You see, it's not that complicated. <laughs> Get away. Come with me. The girl baths are empty. I hope they find him and make him pay for what he has done. Don't touch me. Ah, uh, I can't take it anymore. How do I change this? I need to make her run away, but I don't think I'm doing the right thing. Shut up. And back with our real-life human corpse. Uh, they will never understand, will they? Even her, she will report me as soon as possible. What's that noise? Can they leave me alone? Oh, man. Not now. I'm not... I'm a bit confuddled how I can try and make her leave sooner rather than later. So... I'm just going to go through the motions and do exactly as I did before. Perhaps. Because this is kind of a dream sequence, isn't it? Mm. I really don't know how to freak her out. Because <laughs> I would have thought that bringing the doll with me would have done that. But it wouldn't let me get back into the workshop. 
So I'm, I'm just trying to say mean things to her to get her to leave the place, but it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I think it's pronounced Jizo. I don't if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm really sorry. So clearing my head at the smiling Jizo helps calm me down. Close my eyes for a moment. When I open them, I spot something lying at his feet. It's a porcelain shard, a mouth. I hold it to my ear. I hear whispers. Don't be afraid, trust me. Just for a minute, I feel less lonely. I regain a sense of hope. Right, okay. Great, we got that. Last day. See, she hasn't... I haven't freaked her out enough. Wake up. I wake up with a terrible headache. The events of yesterday are blurry. I can I can hardly make out my dream from reality. I hope I didn't do anything irreversible. What? The door is open. Did I forget to close it? Or did someone enter? Hmm. Nothing unusual. I probably just forgot to lock it. I really need to be more careful. Um, so that's just the flutter by. Right. Do we just finish the doll now? Oh, dash. Okay. Oops. So let's get, uh, I may have to start editing this now and cutting bits out so I can try and get to the things that were completely different where we have a bit more influence over what we're doing. Because originally I thought the shards that we'd collected we'd put on here, but obviously we've we've managed to put them we put them on the other ending where we turn off the light and the her face shatters. Which I really wasn't expecting that we put a butterfly in her face. But it's, it's genius. I love I love the idea behind this. It's absolutely superb and completely, again, unexpected. This is a game that keeps on giving. And I'm really, really getting into visual novels. I never thought I would. I really, really didn't. But I think after playing Doki Doki, I've now completely got into playing games that are less like an FPS or a scrolling game, 2D scroller or anything like that, and just a narrative-based game. All right, almost done. Oh man, come on, right, fell on touch. Her little cheekies, there you go. Perfect. Return her to the owner. Actually, can we go back and down? Let's go back. Can we do anything in there? Not now. Okay, fair enough. I just want to make sure that I've done everything that I can. Ah, so that's the new poster. About the missing girl. Alright, come on. Behind my back. Leave him in peace. Bad joke. Throw it away. And the last piece. Cool. <sighs> Just a joke. Right, I want to... Freak people out. Bad joke. Come on. Put your coats on. Get outside in the snow. Do your thing. Uh, where's she going to be? So if I... If I just return the doll. Um, is she going to be... by the shrine contemplating anything? Reflecting. 
I want to bump into her sooner rather than later and not just give the doll back straight away. No, she's not there, is she? Fudge. Unless I can go in. No. Meditate for a moment from the shrine. Oh, pants. Hmm. Anybody have any ideas? Please let me know. I'm confuddled and confused. So at the moment we do, we're still, it still feels like we're on the same path as we were before. So perhaps there's something when we get to the Granny's house. Uh, which is down the left, isn't it? Hmm. There's got to be something else we can do. My puzzler is puzzling. Right, come on, Granny. Excuse me. Oh, hello, dear. How are you? Look who I brought back. Let me look at her. <sighs> Isn't it? In it's incredible. Look, she looks brand new. I can't spot any imperfections. You've surpassed yourself once again. Is your granddaughter home? I wanted to show her the doll. You're too late. She's already gone. Back to town? Of course. She has work. Why? We had dinner to, uh, together last night and I wasn't at my best. I was hoping to apologise. Well, you should hurry. She's probably waiting at the train station. So we did do something. So I did do enough freaky deaky stuff. So I've got to go to the train station. Cool. Ooh. Wait. How much do I owe you for the doll? Uh, I don't know. We'll work that out later. Oh, excellent. So we are going to get the other end. Awesome. And I've just got to scare her off as much as possible when we get to the cr train station. Where is it? Down here. Can we go down? Oh, no. We have to go across first. Ooh, excellent. Oh, I'm a bit excited now. Really interested to see what happens now. Because we didn't... I really genuinely thought I hadn't done enough to scare her off. But clearly I said all the right things to scare her off. Is she already gone? Please be gone. She's gone. Oh no, she's still there. So, you're leaving after all? You scared me. I'm sorry. It's nothing. I've been thinking about it a lot, you know, but this place isn't for me. Do you really think it'd be better in town? I think you should stay. Do you really think it'd be better in town? I think you should stay. Um, oh, I don't know. I need to scare her off. I, I don't know. We'll see. Think of your grandmother. This village, this village is in need of new people. If I say grandmother, it's probably going to be more of an emotional thing. So I'm going to say about the village needing new people. I've made my decision. Please respect it. Uh, don't leave. You'll regret it. You should take more time to think about it. <sighs> See, both of them are trying to get her to stay, and I want to try and scare her off as much as possible. You should take more time to think about it. Don't. You'll regret it. Don't leave. You'll regret it. It's more of a threat, I think. You know, the more you insist, the more I, it opens my eyes. Ah, cool. Okay. There's, it's, there's something weird about this place. It seems so nice in my. It seems so nice in my childhood. I've been holding on to some those memories to help cope with my work. I was thinking I could always come back if things got too bad in town. Now I don't know anymore. I think I'll be better off in town after all. Fine, go. Oh, and she... Oh, brilliant, we've done it, because she's turned into another kind of silly, wetty person. I have to go. I'm sorry, I have nothing against you, but... It's not a good idea to stay here. You should leave as well. This is my home. And I have a dead body in my house. I know. <laughs> oh, brilliant. We scared her. 
my work here has done. We've got all the endings now. Farewell. Awesomeness. So what happens now? Does it just end? No, we have our flutter by, and all is well with the world. And we have our doll. Is that her talking? Did she leave? Uh, she would have ended up running away anyway. I know. Don't be sad. You have me and I will never leave your side. Ooh, that's the first time she's spoken, isn't it? And we have the... We finished our butterfly collection. Perfect. Oh, I'm dead chuffed. Chuffed as punch. Punch and... Yes. The moment uh, I pin the blue butterfly, I feel like I've stabbed myself in the heart. I think of the train running into the city. I think of the snow that slowly but surely covers everything. I become submerged in silence. Hunched over the, in the shop's darkness, I can only wait. One day, maybe she'll come back. And I will kill her then. Maybe. Right, so we've got them all now. Uh, so that's it. We get the additional content. Well done, me. I think I deserve a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Um, oh, that was so cool. I'm glad I managed to do them all. I was getting a bit worried that I wasn't going to get all the endings. Um, especially on that last one. I didn't think I'd scare her off. I didn't know when she'd go. I thought I'd take the doll to the, the restaurant, but it wasn't the case at all. Um, and I forgot to say, the, the guy, the main guy, the, the head honcho, contacted me um, after I load, uploaded my first videos for this game, um, just to say thank you for the walkthrough and the, the comments. Um, and I just wanted to say again, so sort of thank you for, for this game as well, because I, I think you and your team have done a sublime job in putting this to, together, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it uh, from beginning to finish. Um, and I can't wait to see more from these guys, so trade on. Um, right. So, ooh, later. Oh, she's back. Grandma, are you home? S sweetheart, is that you? Are you in the dark? Yes, Grandma, it's me. Oh, I was so worried. You disappeared so suddenly without leaving a trace. We assumed the worst. I'm sorry, I should have let you know. Oh no, to be honest, she missed you dearly. But I can understand that. She's very fond of you. You, what are you doing here? I came to make an offer. Why don't you come live with us? What? Is he kidnapping her now? Uh-huh. Awesome. I am completely... I love this. I absolutely adore this game. Um, and I'm so glad that I've finished it all in its entirety. Um, I really, 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 really recommend that you guys play this as well. Um, I'm going to keep an eye open for other more freaky deaky stuff by these guys. Um, I, I think the artistry is amazing. The, the storyline is amazing. I love... Um, the whole creation, the, the, how everything's kind of mashed together to create this beautiful game. So brilliant. Um, I won't drivel on any more about it because I did that in the last video. Um, you all know how I think about this game. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts and feelings are in the comment section below. Um, but for the time being, thank you so much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Laters.